going to be showing you guys about standard equations and how to sketch the graph. So we're going to start with a simple... So we have to make sure that it's in this form before we can start anything. Make sure we have our A, B, and C. And first we're going to start with finding the vertex. And our question is going to be g of x is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. So it's good because this is already in standard form for us. So now we just got to locate our a, b, and c. Okay, so what is a vertex? First we need to find the properties of a parabola. And this will help us properties of the parabola, and our vertex is equal to h, h comma r k. Alright, and what we need to locate here is that our h has to be equal to b over 2a, k is going to be the function b over 2a. Our h, which is equal to negative b over 2a, over function of b 2a. h will equal negative B over 2A, which is our negative 4 over 2 and then our 1 from A and our negative 4 from our B in the equation. And when since this is a negative, this is going to be a positive 4. So 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2. So our h is equal to 2. And our k, which is a function b over 2a. So from here, we're going to simply take our equation, and we want to plug in, which is g, our function is g, and we want to plug in 2. So we're going to put parentheses where there is an x. And from here, we want to plug in 2 where there was an x. So now we just solve, and this is going to get our k. So 2, square root of 2 is 4, minus 8, 4 times 2, 8, minus 5. 4 minus 8 is negative 4, negative 4 minus 5 is going to be negative 9. So now we have that, and our, so our k is going to be equal to our, our, study, our center point. So 2, negative 9. So from here, we're going to determine if the parabola, which I call it the horseshoe, because it's just like a horseshoe dip. It's easy to remember and figure it out. So from here, we want to determine if it's going to be vertex will be going up or if it's going to be vertex is going to be at the top. When it's at the low point, we're going to know that when A is greater than zero, it's going to look like this on our, when we go to prior graph. And when vertex is at the top, at the highest point, a is going to be less than 0. So right away we can determine from the equation that A it has to be greater or is greater than 0 because it's 1 placeholder. So A is going to be greater than 0. And we'll know this because when A is greater than 0 and it's at, the vertex is at the highest point, we have the K is going to be to infinity, so we're going to stop, oh, 
And when a is less than 0, it's going to be negative infinity to k. Is equal to our h. So from our vertex, h was equal to 2. So our axis of symmetry, h, is equal to 2. Really easy step to know. So we're going to put for a s is equal to 2. Zero, where there's an x. So we're going to leave this open like we did before. All right, and now we're going to start putting in a zero. So zero square root two is going to be zero. Minus four times zero is obviously zero. And negative five. So our y-axis is going to be equal to negative five. And we're going to plot this as a point with x and our y. So with this one, it's actually, we can't factor it because we got our negative four quadratic equation. And if you don't know what it is, it's negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay? Here is called our discriminant. This section. Alright, and when we, it's easier to break this apart a little bit so we don't get confused. When we start with our description, just plug it back in and then solve for our x-intercept, our discriminant. And our b is going to be is our negative 4 squared minus 4. a is our 1. And then c is going to be our negative 5. Okay? So negative 4 squared, t, so that's when you square root a negative, it's going to be positive. And then we have negative 5 and 4, which is positive 20. So 16 plus 20 is 36. All right, so we now know that our, in our square root, it's 36. So now we're going to go back to the original quadratic equation. We know negative b plus or minus square root, and we have our 36, our discriminant included, over 2a. So now all we have to do is plug in our b and our a, and then we can find our two values for plus and minus. So negative 4 plus or minus square root of 36 over 2, our a is 1. Okay, from here we know we got to separate it because we have our negative and our positive. Okay. And always make sure too, when you have a negative here, we have a negative 4 up here. So this is going to make it positive. So we got 4 plus or minus square root of 36 over 2. Yeah, positive 4 plus square root 36. And when we square root 36, we know square root 36 is 6. So we can automatically just put that there. And then 2. And then positive 4 subtract 6 over 2. And when we do this, we 10 divided by 2 which is 5, and then when we subtract negative 6, it's going to be negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. So from here now, after using the quadratic equation, we got 5 and negative 1. We're 5, 0, which is our x, y, and then negative 1, 0, x, y. 
So the x is the x-intercept, the y is here in, with the y, and we go cut, and then our x axis of symmetry is 2, and our vertex we found to be 2, negative 9. So now at this point, we're ready to start graphing. And we remember that the horseshoe is going to go up. So we're going to start just keeping that in mind. Three, All right, negative 9 down here, 2 here. So we're going to start right here is our vertex. 2, negative 9. And we automatically know that it should be going up with the curve. So we got to take our points. We'll start with our axis of symmetry is 2. So we're going to do a dashed line all the way down for our line. Just 2. You got to make sure you label it on your graph that you found that. And three. Here's our other point from our x-intercept, 5, 0, and then negative 1, 0 over here, right? And now our y-intercept is going to be 0, negative 5, so 3, 4, 5, sorry, 0, negative 5 right here. And all we have to do now is draw a pretty curve get the point. <laughs> so it kind of looks like a horseshoe. Not that well. I try my best. All right. So now we have our parabola, our horseshoe. And I hope that you understand. It'll give you a better understanding of how to use standard equations by locating your vertex, your axis of symmetry, and your x and y intercepts, and making sure that you locate where your vertex is going to go so you know what kind of graph you're going to find and how to use um, properties of parabolas to solve, to graph your um, equation.